So with all of these lovely ingredients on the table, it's quite easy to understand that it's going to be a dessert. Like one famous chef once said, the ingredient when it comes to the kitchen is already perfect. Your only job is not to mess it up. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm, I'm just going to keep this as simple as possible. I'm going to make a crepe and it's going to be a flambéed crepe uh, with some of this Kirsebel schnapps or cherry schnapps. It's a hard liquor, so this will burn properly and it has a delicate hint of cherries. And I have more cherries here and I've got strawberries and I have gooseberries. I have the rhubarb and then on top of that, we've picked roses, thyme, we have lavender, we have lemon verbena and we have lime tree. And all of this together is going to be a tea. I'm going to brew a tea from this that we can drink and enjoy together with the dessert. In order to get started, we need to start with a pancake batter. Let's do two eggs and two deciliters of flour. Four deciliters of milk. And all we need now is a pinch of salt. Just whisk all of that together. Something like that. So focus on the berries, freshly picked. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful strawberries. Just going to cut these in half. My favorite, gooseberries. Red ones and normal green ones. Look, wonderful. Now the cherries, cut and twist. That will give such beautiful color. You see the little brown edges there and it's nice and dry. That's when I take it, hit it once or twice. And there you go. Just gonna place them right here. And these guys will be folded. You go like this, something like that. And it's time to create our cherry schnapps flambe topping <laughs> sauce, call it whatever you want to. Butter goes in. Sugar goes in. I add my rhubarb to it. And now it's time for the rest of all of my berries. Gooseberries, cherries, wild strawberries, and strawberries into the caramel. And now I will add some of this cherry schnapps. Not too much, roughly Three tablespoons. One, two, three. Let the fire hit it. Just cook it until those flames disappear. Yes, yes, yes. Cheers. I think this is something that we don't do often enough. Pick herbs and brew tea out of them. Because you can do this with so many different things in your garden. You can use your roses, your tulip leaves if you want to. And then if you have sage in your garden, oh, sage tea, it's, it's amazing. If you haven't tried it, do it. It's lovely. Mm. 